Well, good day to you. I'm bringing you another filter. This one I'm kind of more excited about. It's a new filter. And so one I'm really, really hoping I'll be able to use in the future on one of my project vehicles that I have coming, but it's not home yet because, well, it's a Jeep or a Mopar. So I can't wait to get it home. But this is the filter I'd probably be using on it because it is a Mopar filter. So, I'm just hoping it works out because I actually like this because this is the bill for it. And this filter only cost me $5.25 plus the Econo Levy, mm, 50 cents. So in total, $6.44. That is relatively very cheap, I gotta say, for a filter in this day and age. And I'm kind of happy, you know, I'm really hoping that it works out. So, let's take a look at it. And, uh, first off, it's pretty light, but it's not a very big filter. What is the number on this filter? AML? dash zero zero six that is the number or let's go with the full part number on the back here uh one aml zero zero six a a dash zero zero one or just like i said aml dash zero zero six so what can i say about this so far so far well it is light but it has characteristics of other filters that makes me wonder and it does say here made in the usa <sighs> never heard of them magneti morelli offered by mopar so i'm guessing mopar makes this magneti morelli filter and well somebody makes it i'm sure mopar doesn't make their own filters well get into the inside but it should be not a bad filter it just seems like it's well built the canister is nice and strong it feels like and uh, yeah it just feels pretty strong what about the sailing surface well it's your standard rubber so nothing new about that it's just your standard rubber there are five threads to hold the filter on. Now that's a shocker. Five threads. And the, the hole for this vehicle I'm putting it on is pretty big. I, have, I can fit my whole finger in that hole. That's amazing. I don't know what size this is. This definitely is not a three-quarter hole. But amazing. I do see through here... And through uh, th just through there that there is a anti-drain back valve and I can see a uh, release valve in there at least I think that is so let us get into it I didn't set up my uh, opener I'll have to go get that well there I now have my opener I check the wheel Still as sharp as ever. Still works probably just great. Now let's tighten this thing in here. And start giving her a spin. Yes. Hope this isn't made terrible inside. Because I'm really looking forward to using a filter that is this is not very expensive so i'm kind of happy about it i'll have to check other filters by mopar to see what other type of filters they have i'm, I'm starting to go after some dealerships now on getting some filters to see how well their filters are made and i'll have a couple of those coming up for you uh, that wasn't the easiest to cut through but it wasn't the wasn't the uh, you know it take it took a little, little bit longer than some other filters so that's good uh, what do I see in there I already see almost bad news darn 
Well, let's get the top off. Well, actually, it's not really bad news. Uh, well, look at this. There's the anti-grain back. It's just a rubber one. And, yeah. It does what it does. It drains back. Or holds the filter from draining back. See, those, those never matter if you got a filter that screws upwards or even kind of slanted. Nothing's going to drain out of them. So, uh, how many holes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen holes? No, it can't be. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve holes. Twelve smaller holes. This base plate is not that bad, though. It's not, like, hefty, hefty, but uh, it's not terrible. And it, it's well sealed around the sides of the inside where the canister fits on. That is very well tightly fit in there. That is very nice. I like that. Now, what can I say about this? Well, let's go. With... It does have a stamp spring, but... It does have a release valve. And it looks like yeah, it's fine. Now, this is not cardboard. This is a fabric. So technically, this fabric on the ends, if anything gets through it, will filter also the oil going through it. So that technically isn't that bad. Uh, the plates... Um, could be better spaced. There's a whole bunch bunched up right here, and then they widen out, then it gets a little wider here, and then, yeah, a little, could be a little better spaced, but I'll let them go with that. Now, this fabric stuff, I don't mind it. I even now don't mind the cardboard as much. Not everything has to have metal ends on it. That's what I'm, I've discovered. What I do like about this filter is that it has the phenolic core. Now, I like these plastic phenolic cores because they really flow well. Now, the only thing with that is, um, I can see in here, and right up in a spot right here, you can see that oil, can, probably there's, there's nothing here. So oil may have to filter through and will get through the top covering and the bottom covering in these spots. So uh, let me see. Can I just pull this off? The glue isn't very strong. It doesn't have to be really. It, it's, it's not terrible. It is a filtration type fabric though. So... It's still filtration, I must say. Let us, okay, I'll see if I can take this one off. I don't have to use a knife on this one to cut off the uh, filter. That's kind of nice. See, I don't have anything bad to say about filtration like this anymore. Now, these phenolics are strong. Strong plastic phenolic. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they work just fine. And they last for pretty, pretty long time in an engine. A lot of your engine parts are actually made out of this phenolic plastic. And they last for a long time. And these filters definitely are not in a vehicle for a long time. So, this. Yeah, it may come apart if it gets oil soaked, but I don't leave mine in too long. One second. Okay, I'm back with you here. Where was I? I'm getting interrupted. Uh, the filtration. It is it is a nice thicker type of filtration actually. That stuff I would say isn't that bad. I'm afraid though, this filter, if it was left in a vehicle too long, might come apart. This glue doesn't seem very strong. And I do like the fabric ends. I think they're fine. The only thing is, we know, sometimes filters do stay in vehicles too long. And then, you know what happens. The, 
and they get crushing force of oil. Oil gets soaked into the uh, filtration and particles and dirt. And then it tries to find a different way to flow. And that's when filters fail. And, uh, well, it does have, have a release valve. It's an actually a very nice release valve. Huh. It's not bad. And, uh, yeah, let me see how strong... Let me see if I can figure out. Okay, I'm going to take a look here. I don't see. It's layered. It is layered, but it just looks like it's layered with the same type of filtration all the way through. So, it is just a cardboard type of filtration, which I've figured out actually probably doesn't work that bad. Many filters have it. But there's no, like, different uh, s synthetics in it or anything. It just looks like your normal filtration. Luckily, though, it is a little bit thicker than normal filtration I've seen. And it probably lasts up to probably five, 6,000 kilometers before you'd have any problem with this filter. And uh, for the price, you can't go wrong, really. Like... I don't know how much it would be in the uh, United States to get this filter, but here, yeah, you saw it. It's, it's five dollars twenty-five cents plus a condo levy, and so it's uh, it's a relatively inexpensive filter to use in your vehicle. Um, yeah, that's pretty strong actually. The cup, pretty strong. The case, okay. I'm gonna give that to them. They have a nice strong case. Um, I might do some more digging and find out who actually makes this filter because not too many of them use the phenolic uh, centers. Hmm, haven't seen too many of those at all. Could this be made by a same as the AC Delcos? AC Delc, some of the AC Delcos use all this type of stuff. This I'll have to look into that. But, would I use it on my vehicle? Well, I'm going to. I'm going to use it on my uh, the Jeep coming up because it's inexpensive and it seems like it will do a great job for me because I, uh, I think it's built better than a Fram Extra Guard. I'll tell you that right now. And I, it'll do a great job for me because I always... Uh, pretty good on doing my oil changes when they actually need it very good on that. I don't skip out on maintenance. So I'll use it and I don't think it would hurt anybody else to use it if they keep up with maintenance. So the Magneti Morelli offered by Mopar. I'm going to give that one a good rating for being a very inexpensive filter. And it's actually made decently enough that hopefully it would... Uh, serve the purpose of being in there for as not like 10,000 to 25,000 kilometers or anything but if we're just doing oil changes every 5,000 kilometers or so thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't and i'll bring you more content on the next one